Welcome to Aboriginal Art in America, a podcast where each week we spend a few minutes with a work by an Indigenous Australian artist. I'm going to hand things over to Henry Skerritt. He's the curator of the Kluge Roo Aboriginal Art Collection. I wish I was in Northern Australia right now. Because at this time of the year, the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory hosts the annual Telstra National Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Art Awards. It's kind of like the Academy Awards of Aboriginal Art, a huge ceremony attended by all the big name artists, curators, collectors, all excited to see who takes out the $50,000 prize. This year, the prize went to the senior artist Naralja Tommy May. Now, as far as winners go, Mr. May was a popular choice. You know, everyone knew he deserved it. The guy had put 30 years into making art. And he's not just an important artist, he's also an important community leader and activist whose artistic output's only rivaled by his political significance. I remember when Mr. May came to Kluge in 2016. Every day he'd get up early, he'd head over to the museum, he'd get me to make him a cup of hot chocolate, and he'd sit down and draw. He told me he never stopped working. It was how he remembered his country, places he grew up around, these places deep, deep in the great sandy desert. And Mr. May doesn't get out to these places very often. They're remote, they're too hot, they're too dry, they're too sandy, he'd say. But every day he returns there in his mind, meticulously recording them in his art. At the end of his stay, Mr. May donated four small works to the Klugiru collection, and each one is a little jewel. It's a sparkling, shimmering constellation of marks that comes together into a field of incredible depth. And looking at them, I remember thinking how strange it must have been for Mr. May to recreate his country from the other side of the world. But if you asked him, he'd say it was just his job. Not, not so much painting, but keeping the memory of his country alive performing in paint all the knowledge of these places that he keeps stored up in his head. And every mark takes you deep into his country and gives testament to its profound spiritual life-giving beauty. My time this year, he said, I'm the winner at last. But looking at Naraja Tommy May's works, I think it's we that are the real winners. Find out more at kluge-ru.org. Aboriginal Art in America is a production of the University of Virginia and a member of the Virginia Audio Collective. Listen and subscribe at virginiaaudio.org.